the hand must go go into that position. Then it reverses. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah. Just like that. Well, yeah, that's what. But he's doing it on the opposite side like that. So left-handed man to swing backwards, mm. taking a back swing. You see? Mm -hmm. That's left-handed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now that that lets it create a pendulum. Uh -huh. See, if you came down here and you didn't turn the arm, you block it. When the thumb catches up with the radius, you turn it that way. See, now the butt end is swinging back to that leg. The club head is swinging away from the leg out in front of you. Uh -huh. But it's not coming down and in toward the ground over here. It's on it's that leg It's coming on on up here. Yeah. But your arms are coming this way, and the club is, because of this 180-degree semicircle, is swinging in that way. You understand? Mm -hmm. Swinging in here, swinging in there. The club comes inside to out to inside the shaft, not your arms. Okay? Mm -hmm. See, you have to. Let's see you do that now. Yeah. Now okay. out. Now in. See. The club now is on the inside of the arms. Oh, here. The arms are coming up, but look how the shaft is. Hmm. The arm is coming this way, and the shaft is going that way. So if we looked at it like this, you're talking about like the shaft is coming like that. Yeah. And so which would be inside my arm. And coming up. Coming see? up. Not no, like I, that. You kill the pendulum. I said now that ex expedited the flow through. It's, uh, yeah, this motion right here, see, that advances the club it, head. It increases the, but, the but acceleration. Look here, I've seen a bunch of pictures where this motion. Well, that's the worst motion you can do because you're going to slap a man and you instead of slapping him, you slap your face. And it faces the hand into the body. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm slinging the club head out. Now, I ain't going to pull the hand back. That's That's Swing the opposite way. So this would decrease the This would cause you to duck hook it. All right, like that. Yeah. And this would advance it. And then cause a trajectory. I used to fly it further than anybody playing the tour. I could fly it further than they could roll. Mm hmm. So because this motion accompanied with the pivot that we went over. Yeah, that's beautiful will action. Increased a, just a tremendous amount of. Oh, boy. You know, something else is real interesting. Now, we go to the right hand, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, put your right hand on it. Now, take the left hand off now, uh -huh. okay? Now, the first motion with the right hand, when the left hand is doing this, that. Now, watch as you turn. That's coming in here. And that hand is still below that shoulder, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You're not trying to bring this club up to that shoulder, are you? Right. Look at that. That club is facing that ball right there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. At this point here, hold it right there. Okay, I got it. The shoulders, look here, if you get them back in here like, like, like that, mm -hmm. this would be a, like a parallelogram. Understand? Mm -hmm. Now, this this hand is back of that shoulder, isn't it? Right. Now it's, now it's start raising. Now, let you shift, shift over the right hip. That way. Mm -hmm. You're not up here. You're there. Now, shift over to the left hip. Like that. It's coming in here. That club is still behind that arm, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's right here. Now, right here, that turns, the palm of your left hand turns over your left thumb, crosses. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. No? Yeah. Let's see you do that. It's more kind of an out motion, isn't it? Yeah. Out with the arm and, and back inside with the shaft. Woo! You can feel that in that. You can feel that in oh, that. Oh man, rest. you can feel the centrifugal force. It feel like you're going to snatch your arm out of the shoulder joint. Okay. So what you're doing is, like sometimes when you look at a golf club going away, some people think that you take it, open it like you that. You do not open it. See, when you go back with your right hand, I have to do it left-handed. That way, you, the club will be around there. You got to get the club behind. So we're starting like a neutral position yeah. with our hands. And then from here to there, we cock them. Cock your hands in, but you to a loaded in. position. Now you're cocked in. If I had a long shot, I'll show you something. Just bring me a golf club. Anybody, go ahead. I'm going to talk to you. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Leave that camera moving, okay? okay. Now take it back. All right, let's try another shot. Okay, and action. 
Mm -hmm. Now, if I took and drew a line between your wrist and elbows from that shaft, but the shaft has got to be, you know, where his face is there, like right. that. Now, if I took it like this, you're facing the bone. Mm -hmm. You're not on the, that arm isn't on the plane. Right. What's on the plane is this center bar. Mm-hmm. The clamber bar, and the shaft. Right. Okay, do it. Because you're swinging in, you're unloading between the, the arms and, and wrists, like that. Now you have a double force. Now swing and stop right over here. Now, no, no, you didn't get off. You got to get well, off. Well, okay. It's going over that way. Uh -huh. Now that way, and that's good. Mm -hmm. But that shaft will be leaning a little that way. That's on plane. Now see, that would face the ball. So it's not, even though it is, the arm is working up. Yeah. But that's going like, yeah. oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a neat point there. That way. Now that club is accelerating. Yeah, you do so anything but that, it's de-accelerating. And this de-accelerates. That's not advancing the arm. That's collapsing the, the wrist backwards. And look at the face. You dog hook the hell up. So if you took your right hand, it's kind of you just wind it up with that form, right? Yeah, just like that. Not like that. No, like that. that's exactly what you do. Boy, that gives you, boy, you can put the club in a perfect oh, what, position. What a thing. It's like this. Did you know? I can't do it right now, but I can take take my hand and do this. And I step here like this and spin that hand and unfold that thing and let it go in here. I break the sinuses, the nose, the jaw. I can break the humerus bone. If your arm is like that, I can break both. If it's like mm -hmm. this, I only break that one. Yeah. Just with that. It's, it's called a karate chop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Man. All soup. Now go. Okay. Now do it toward the camera. Swing. Lake, face the lake and swing toward the camera. Now, you know how we're setting the hands. That's set. That way, let, let it come up. Ah, there. Okay. Now swing, yeah. Now see. Look that, huh? Oh, yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now see now this left. Right arm is swinging up here to one o'clock. Here's 12. There's one, two, three. Look here. Four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Your left arm separates up to 11, and the hands cock 90, so you you got 150 from 6 to 11, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you have from 6 to 1, 150. So the arm rotates 150 degrees on the back swing and 150 degrees on the fourth swing, and then it, it kind of drops. You drop the club, not the arms, okay? Mm -hmm. Look here. Swing up here, so this distance between here and there is constant. Now uh, stop it up there. Don't let, don't let both arms collapse. Just the left. Mm -hmm. See that? That takes care of the space between the two sh shoulders. That's right. Now you got to get over fast if you don't. Yeah, well, you're... we're demonstrating. Yeah. All the way over to that front line. There. Okay. Oh. Huh? Yeah, you feel that club. It feel like it's boom. It's as that's what it feel like to the. It feels like it's pulling out of your. Yeah, you can say that again. Well, let me ask you something. How how what about these devices? You know that hold your arms in. Why are they good or why are they bad? Well, I tell you one thing. I'd like to bet you a million dollars and put a, a belt around you. Let me show you. Huh? What could you do if you were wrapped? Oh, let's stay there. Mm -hmm. Now, if I could encompass your body, I can't do it like this. Mm -hmm. And I hold your arms right here. What could you do? Yeah, just turn. You couldn't do anything. Mm-hmm. That, that, that idea that that, oh, a couple of the pros have gotten that device keeping your arms in here, it's for the birds, and I want them to know what I think of it. All right. If anybody advocates that, they don't know it. But the laws of physics, mm -hmm. and they ought to go back to school and find out how to apply it to the golf swing. So the centrifugal force, along with the motion, you know, like once we get here and the arm raises just No, don't bit. raise this way. Raise that way. Just just keep turning now. The, just with the turn. Okay. Okay. Right up there like that. 
We'll make us hit. Otherwise, you see, you'll be a pin your arm to be like that. Uh -huh. It's got to come underneath. That way. Okay. Now, yeah, just turn. Now, see what happens when this arm raises. The scapula raises. The shoulder blade. Uh -huh. When you to raise this arm, it won't raise unless that's, that shoulder blade raises. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yeah, I do understand what you're talking about. All right.